Hey guys, it's Steph from Cheapskate Cook and welcome to my kitchen. Thank you so much for being here. I'm really excited to show you a recipe from my new cookbook, Dinner for a Dollar, real food recipes for under $1 a serving. This week, Dinner for a Dollar is only 99 cents on the Kindle store, so if you missed getting a free copy last week, then jump on that now because it goes up to full price on September 30th. So I asked a bunch of you what recipes you wanted to have me demonstrate from the book and you asked for one recipe that has been fantastic for me because it takes a whole chicken, which is the cheapest way to buy chicken, and cooks it completely in under an hour. This is almost unheard of, so if you work full time or you just have a really busy schedule or you have last minute guests and you're trying to scramble together some meal but you can't spend a whole lot of money, this is it. I love serving this chicken to guests. The only thing about it is that the name makes me feel like a child because I cannot say it without cracking a smile, okay? This is called spatchcock chicken, okay? I don't, I don't know, I don't know, okay? I'm just making it. <laughs> so, full warning, or fair warning, this is going to have raw chicken, okay? So if you don't like that, and you don't like seeing people mess with raw chicken, then don't watch the video. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you how with two quick cuts and a couple of minutes, you can prepare the a whole chicken, pop it into the oven, and have it ready for guests or ready for your family in less than an hour, okay? So first you're gonna take the whole chicken, all right? Some people like to rinse the chicken. There's some people that say rinsing the chicken isn't necessary. So do whatever you like, okay? But make sure when you have a whole chicken that you are looking, okay, this is the butt of the chicken. Make sure you look in there for, a lot of times there'll be like a baggie with the neck and some of the giblets. It's like the heart, the lungs, I don't know, whatever. Giblets, giblets, I don't, I don't even know. So this chicken came with the neck. I already pulled it out and you're going to take it and move it to a surface that you can cut on, okay? This could be a cutting board that is specifically set aside for raw meat, or in this case, I'm just using a cookie sheet because that's what I have. Make it work for you, okay? So you're gonna lay it down so that the neck part, this is the head, okay? Oh my gosh, this is so wrong. The neck is facing away from you, okay? Uh, you got the wings and the hiney, is facing towards you, okay? The backbone should be on the top, okay? This is what the top looks like. The bottom is gonna look like this, okay? Make sure this part is down on your cutting surface, okay? So then you're going to find the backbone, which is just right here, really easy. And then you're gonna take your knife and cut across, okay? This is easiest to do with a very sharp knife. I'm really impressed right now. My knives are not very sharp. And this chicken is partially frozen, but it's cutting pretty easily. So you're just gonna cut through all the way, okay? So you end up with a cut chicken, okay? If you are serving guests or you want this to look really pretty, then you're gonna want to cut the other side of the backbone like this and cut it all the way down so that you have the whole spine, okay? I'm not going to do that because that's not what I do for my family. I just wanna make one quick cut and be done with it, okay? So I'm cutting it once. And the reality is it tastes the same and it still looks pretty good and no big deal. So then you're gonna lay it flat and you're just kinda gonna mess with it. This is the worst sound on the planet. And just make sure that it lays really flat. If the breast part of the chicken is like really bumpy and it's not going flat, you can just take the knife, cut just a little bit at the top, and then it'll lay really flat for you, okay? So if I was making this for guests, then it would look like this, except this part would be out of it. If you decide to cut the spine, then you can take the whole spine out, then you can save it and use it for bone broth later. It's really easy, it's really great, and that way you're not wasting any part of the chicken, okay? So, when you're ready to cook it, pardon my chickeny hands, 
You're gonna have a cookie sheet and um, this is like this is actually the insert to my toaster oven because I don't have one of those wires where you can place cookies on top of it. So cooling rack, that's what it's called. Today I'm using the blend that I suggested in Dinner for a Dollar. So that is salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. Okay? The other thing that I like to use is this Greek seasoning blend. It's the only all-purpose seasoning that I use or that I make because it's delicious. The recipe for this is on my site and I will try to drop a link in the comments or in the header, okay? So you can go ahead and look that up. So before you add the spices, you're going to want to get a paper towel and pat the chicken dry. You can also just let it set out for a couple of minutes while you're getting something else ready for dinner or whatever. You don't have to use a paper towel. But if the chicken skin is dry, then it will crisp up better in the oven while it's baking, okay? So take your spices and sprinkle them on the chicken. You can just leave it like that or you can really baby it and make sure that the spices are spread all over the chicken, okay? So when you are done, it should look like this, okay? You're going to put it in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit and cook it for like 40 to 50 minutes. So this part should only take you a couple of minutes, okay? Okay, the chicken's been in the oven for 45, 50 minutes. And you can see that it's all crispy brown, it's cooked all the way through, and it was cooked in less than an hour. I like to take this chicken and either have my guests or family or whatever serve themselves, because I don't actually know how to cook a, or how to slice a real chicken. But you can also just take all the um, meat off of it and use it in any of the recipes in Dinner for a Dollar or tons of recipes up on my site. And then the leftover bones and skin can be used to make really easy nourishing bone broth. I also have a recipe for that in Dinner for a Dollar. We like to serve this chicken with some steamed broccoli or some salad and then rice or roasted potatoes or homemade bread or something like that. And it's always a crowd pleaser. It's always really easy. Just, you know, as long as you can make that one cut in the chicken, then it's, it's ridiculously easy. So, if you want the full recipe, it is in my cookbook, Dinner for a Dollar, Real Food Recipes for Under One Dollar a Serving, and the cookbook is only 99 cents on the Kindle store on Amazon, this week only, through September 30th. All right, I hope that you enjoyed seeing this recipe. I hope it's less intimidating for you now, and I hope all of these things help you save money and eat healthy. Thank you.